welcome to my studio. This is my favourite space in the whole house. It's obviously my studio space and where I create my work. It's my sanctuary, my little um, space where I can leave everything out and I can come back to work. It's also Freddy. This is Freddy, my cat. Hello, Freddy, Freddy. Uh, it's her favourite space in the house as well. As soon as I'm in here, she's straight in here. She's definitely a studio cat. Um, so to take you for a little look around, uh, over here we've got a couple of framed slates. The slates, I'll show you a couple of them later as well. Um, but the frame slates need to be uh, the slates need to be framed uh, because the chalk pastel on them doesn't fix properly. Uh, so um, we've got over here in the corner, we've got Frank, he's my studio mascot. He's constantly saying, why are you no paint? Come on, Tara, start painting. Um, again, we've got Freddie. Uh, current setup, we've got amazing paint colours. I mix up all my colours into jars so that I've got them for working with another time. But obviously, like any artist, I've always got other paints out on the table. Freddie, please don't step in the paint. Uh, my current obsession where well, there's originals um, we've got here I'm working on this is my current working on piece um, it's going to be a floral piece actually I've decided um, and it's going to be inspired by the magnolia bush at the front of the house which is beautiful in the corner over here we've got a whole pile of paintings waiting to find its forever home waiting to find their forever homes we've got paint collages which are landscapes We've got animals, uh, we've got all kinds of things, landscapes over here. Uh, we've got little hair, Tondo there. Mr. Fezident, he's looking for his forever home. He's quite special, I reckon. Uh, a beautiful photograph by my husband. He used to create these enormous paint, uh, photo collages, which were amazing. Uh, but he's now a landscape gardener, so he doesn't really do that anymore. We've got a um, geranium triptych. Uh, this is inspired by the view out of the back door into the garden a couple of summers ago and started my whole floral obsession actually, uh, where I'm working at the moment. You can see tucked behind the sofa there, another couple of geranium pieces. We've got um, some slate tiles. So when we repurposed this room or this building and created a studio space for me, um, it used to be an outhouse and uh, we had to redo the roof, so when we took the roof off I became obsessed with the tiles themselves that came off the roof and where the tiles overlapped on the roof is where the horizon line is and you can actually see uh, the patina of the tile in certain points where those uh, horizon lines uh, are created which I just think is fascinating. Um, got a whole range of them. They range from being quite realistic to being slightly more abstract. This one has a bit of a coastal feel, I think. It's got a real open sky up here. These ones really show uh, the softness of the pastel, which is really nice because they've just got this very soft quality. Got some completely random colours that seem to come out at the beginning of last year. Um, uh, complete experiments and expressions. We've then got uh, this guy here, he's going into an auction of promises actually. I think it's being auctioned on the 11th of April, trying to raise money for our local village church in Borton, uh, if you know it. This hair, um, I, I love hairs, I always know that it's spring because I start painting hairs. Um, but this hair uh, is in my flick book. If you haven't seen my flick book, please do take a look. Um, it's uh, got all the current work that's available. Uh, if you're interested in anything, then get in touch. Uh, this one up here, Coming Up For Air, from the Coming Up For Air series, Go Quietly Alone. It's got a bit more of a drippy, painty feeling um, and is a bit more like a landscape, actually. It feels a little bit more um, like a landscape than the wateriness of the other ones. This one is very much water, looking up to the surface of water. But one of the things I love about what I've got with these paintings is just the layers of paint, if you really zoom in, you've got enormous numbers of layers that are going on inside them and you can almost find mini landscapes, mini, mini situations going on inside them. So uh, yeah, over here, as I say, we've got slates, another coming up for air, uh, all my paints. And I think that's where we'll leave it, Fred, is it? So on a usual year, we'd want to invite you in. We'd love to see you here. Ready? Um, but for now, we'll say goodbye and hopefully we'll see you very soon. Bye.